Hello everyone, welcome to Whimsy Creek Heart. All right, today I have a review of the mica powders from Hippie Crafter. So Hippie Crafter reached out to me and they were very generous enough to send me a couple of their products. And so today's video, we're gonna review the mica powders. And they come in a 24 piece set and they are just gorgeous, gorgeous colors. Such a beautiful, variety of colors and they're super super highly pigmented and so today we're going to try to use five different colors and we're going to do a blown paint pour with the mini blower so the, here's the set of uh, mica powders that they sent me and you can use mica powders for all kinds of things soaps bath bombs slime it gives you a few ideas there and so the they're all kind of pearlescent metallic colors and a lot of little uh, instructions on the back and a lot of people use these for resin crafts. But today we're just going to mix them in with the Floetrol. So I'm actually going to do a couple of different videos. Today's video we're going to mix with Floetrol. But they've got such gorgeous colors like this orange red, such vibrant cool colors. This beautiful wine color. I'm excited to use that one. Gorgeous, gorgeous wine color. Just going to show you a couple of this gorgeous lilac, too. Can't wait to use that one. And um, I'm really into this is a fuchsia. I'm really into a lot of these blues that are in here, some gorgeous blues. So, today, what we've got is we've got these five colors. And I just have these cups, and I have about two ounces of Floetrol in each cup. And so just about two ounces of Floetrol, and then I took these little plastic spoons, they're from the Dollar Tree, and they're in the wedding section at the Dollar Tree. And I just, I mean, very little bit for the two ounces of Floetrol. Just about this much is all you need to mix up with Floetrol. And I do want to warn you, go ahead and put on a mask or something like that when you're going to mix uh, mica powders. They're very, very fine, and you don't want to breathe that in. So just to be safe, you want to put on a mask. And I just mix this straight into Floetrol. And then I did mix just a a tad little bit of water but today we're going to use the pastel purple gorgeous purple color and we want about the same consistency as most any of our paint pours we're also going to use the sea green beautiful kind of teal green color beautiful shimmer to these and then we're also going to use this gorgeous robin's egg blue. Oh, this is this is probably one of my favorite ones, this robin's egg blue. Nice light blue, kind of light to medium blue. And then also this thalo blue. And this thalo blue almost has like a color shift in it. It's got a real kind of mostly blue, but has a little bit of a purple shift in it. Kind of a blue purple shift. And then we're also going to use this beautiful rose color. And this rose also almost has like a color shift to it. It is um, very pink, but it almost has a color shift to kind of a corally pink. It's a real beautiful color. All right, so I have a 16 by 20 inch canvas. And I wanted to see how um, these are going to show up on a couple of different colors. So I decided to do a kind of a split color background. So I've got an ultramarine blue. And I have just have that mixed with uh, Floetrol, my normal recipe I have linked down below. And so I, for half this canvas, I am going to put this ultramarine blue down. I'm just spreading it around with a palette knife, making sure I get all the edges and all that. That good stuff and so I wanted to see how this nice beautiful mica powders are going to show up under over a kind of a darker color 
And then I wanted to see also how it's going to show up of, over a top of a pastel color and then also a white. So that's why I chose to do this kind of split color negative space here. So I also have a lavender here. And then that last little section, we're going to put in white. So um, today we're just mixing these. The mica powder is mixed with Floetrol. I do have a video coming up where I'm going to mix the mica powder with the paint corresponding paint colors and see how that shows up. But I wanted to see how it would show up over these different color surfaces because mixed with Floetrol, Floetrol does dry clear. So we'll be able to see the true just what the mica powder shows. And then the next video, we'll mix it with the corresponding paint color and be able to see then what it's going to, how it's going to add to other paint colors. So, all right, just getting this white down, and those are all just mixed with Floetrol, same consistencies. All right, so now we're going to put down a little bit of our mica powder mixed with Floetrol. Now, this first color, the phthalo blue, is the only color I put silicone into. I put two drops of treadmill oil. All right, well, I'm pouring out a little bit more than I intended to. So just for a thought for next time, I probably should pour out about the same amount here as I poured out of the purple. But I poured a little too much of that first phthalo blue, but that's okay. So just pouring in the diagonal across and then a little bit across the white and lavender. And pouring a little bit of each color. And then I'm going to use my world's smallest mini blower. I got that off of Amazon and it just is a USB uh, powered. It hooks into a USB and it's a little handy little thing that works real well for these blown pours or like a Dutch pour or any of those styles. All right, so here's the world's smallest leaf blower. And so I'm just blowing across the top a little bit. And the camera does not do this justice. Oh, these colors are just so beautiful, so shimmery. And um, it's real hard to come up on the camera how shimmery these are. And so uh, this paint pour has not dried yet. Here in a couple of days when it dries, I will put a um, post in the community tab with pictures of this nice and dried. So I am just running across the top here with the leaf blower or the little mini blower. And so it is gorgeous, those beautiful shimmery colors. And you use such a small amount of mica powder and they're just so highly pigmented. Super nice. And so just the one color has silicone, so we are getting quite a good cell action. Uh, the camera just does not do these justice because they're so light and shimmery, and um, they're very subtle. These are very subtle colors with just the Floetrol. Um, in person, they're not as subtle, but with just the flow trial, they're just going across the white here. Oh, it's beautiful across. Really, I'm, I'm liking the effect that I see from all three colors. It really pops on that ultramarine blue, but then it gives a beautiful shimmery effect on both the lavender and the white. All right, so... I had put a little bit too much of the pigments across the middle, so I want a little bit more um, cell action and a little bit more um, depth there in the middle. So I put another line of that ultramarine blue, and then I'm blo just blowing that across. And a lot of these, um, this ultramarine blue that I'm adding actually ended up sinking down below. So you only see very little bit pops up of this ultramarine blue. I wish actually more would have popped up. 
but um, it really sunk down below those. So it'll be interesting to see uh, this. Uh, this is just the mica powder mixed with Floetrol alone. And so then the next video will be the mica powder mixed with Floetrol and acrylic paint. So here I'm using a section of aquarium tubing. So you just take a regular old aquarium tubing, and I've cut a section off of it, and that's the way I can blow the paint around and have a little bit more control with how I am blowing the paint around. Okay, so I've decided I want a little bit more negative space on the white. I don't like how it muddied across the white so much, and that's my own fault, and that's for adding too much. I wanted a little bit more of a subtle shimmer across the white, so no big deal. All I'm doing is I'm just scraping that white, uh, kind of a triangle of the white, and I'm adding a little bit more white in. No big deal. If there's a section you like, but there's there's areas that you, there's sections that you don't like, but there's also areas that you do like. Just scrape that area off and start over just in that area. No big deal until you really like it. So I just spread around a little bit of that white. Now to kind of make it match, I'm just going to blow a little bit of this shimmer across the white just to kind of make that match and kind of marry in there. All right. So we're getting there, and I'm going to show you another angle here in just a moment. All right, so there you go. I'm just blowing some of the details and kind of blowing a little bit to bring up some of that blue from the bottom to have that kind of pop up through. But there you go. There's another angle there. And let's go ahead and show you some close-up, close-up video and then some close-up shots. And I will have a couple more videos. And this is the Hippie Crafter Mica Powders. I'm really like them. They are super highly pigmented. Beautiful. Love how this one came out. All right. So uh, thank you so much for watching and you have a wonderful day.